Welcome back, ballroom dance friends. Previously, I've um, posted videos with various suggestions on things that competitive ballroom dancers can do to improve their competitive results. Uh, and uh, each of these videos is unique in content, but uh, as always, we had a fabulous comment by one of our ballroom dance friends here, and I felt his suggestions were so helpful. I want to post a second video um, because unlike me who reads all the comments on my channel, um, I'm not confident that every single one of you are re-watching every video and then going down and reading the comments on it. Um, so shout out to Charles Smith, um, who added some amazing, fabulous, helpful suggestions, and I'm going to share some of those with you today. Okay, so, um, and I totally agree with them. Okay, number one, be on time to the music. Yes. Now, also, Charles didn't mention in detail, but, you know, you can only comment so long. Um, but totally related to this, guys, if you get off time, it's better to pause, shape, listen, calm down, get your bearings, and then dance out on time. So often on the comp floor, um, especially for a little bit less experienced dancers, um, a dancer can get off time and then have a bit of a freak out. <laughs> the adrenaline takes over and then they're dancing faster and then they're off time for the whole rest of that song. Um, now you can always use um, a figure that looks good just to calm down for a second. Do a hesitation if you're in a closed position. Do a long, a repeated body roll if you're in promenade position. Um, I'm not saying do this the entire time, but guys, it sure beats if you can do that one or two times in a round, then just tearing across the floor um, in a panic, okay? Um, Honestly, many couples also kind of pull, you know, weird figures out of their keister. Um, you know, they get panicked and they start doing weird stuff, which is, it's not the end of the world, but it is very difficult um, for your partner to follow and possibly just as important, if not more, you can get DQ'd, meaning disqualified, and then you don't get placed if you dance out of syllabus. Now, that being said, I have personally observed a heck of a lot of grace being shown, especially in the pro-am, because if it's the pro leading, they know it's not the student's fault. If it's the amateur male, they do understand people panic and do some crazy things. But if you have for example, I've definitely seen this apply really in any final round I've ever seen. So if there's elim elimination rounds, um, you know, that's fine. If you make a mistake in the first round, usually um, that invigilator will call you over and say, hey, you can't do that figure or, you know, instead of doing this after your spin turn, here's your choices and they'll give you kind of a path to take in the next round. But um, if you do it in the final round, our odds are it's going to bite you in the butt. Now, real story here, guys. Um, I was at a USA Dance National Championships. I took a big group of students there to compete. And in one of the youth events in the final, every single couple danced out of syllabus. And they DQ'd all of them. <laughs> no one got a placement that year because you either made it to the semi and then you got eliminated or you made the final and were disqualified. So it is serious business, guys. So it's worth a while if you have to, to take a, take a moment. I call it a mental health break, okay? <laughs> um, also, if you are off time, um, even a non-dancer will just look at the choreo and think, uh, oh, that couple doesn't look as good. You know what? And maybe you have a judge judging Latin um, who is actually an experienced standard competitor, but just kind of took their medals test to get the Latin um, ability to judge. 
you know, they might not necessarily see everything, but it's really easy to see any couple in any style. Even if you don't know how to do dance that style, you know they're off time, and that's totally gonna count against you. Okay, and final real life story regarding timing. Um, I judged when I first turned pro, um, and in each of those comps, this is very interesting. They had a little judges meeting, you know, before the competition started, um, explaining some stuff to you. And I was surprised to hear um, that that chair of judges each time would always see, okay, well, all things being equal on the floor with the competitors, prioritize the timing. Um, fascinating. I, I just, I guess no one had shared that with me up to that point. Um, to understand how important being on time is. Okay, guys? Um, and it's also helpful if you're judging, especially, you know, in syllabus where you do see a lot of stuff kind of going wrong accidentally. Um, you know, and it's like, well, shoot, you know, this couple had, you know, great edges. This couple had a great top line. This cu couple had great timing. This couple had great flight. It's like, what do I prioritize if everyone's doing something else better and then worse. You're, it's very difficult. You know, you're not really comparing apples and apples. So when they tell you what you should prioritize, actually very important. So you kind of know, okay, what direction do I take this? Um, so thank you, Charles. Awesome suggestion. Um, okay. Uh, next up, um, Charles says static moves are the exception rather than the rule. Meeting figures like um, a really long hesitation, um, uh, throw away over sway, um, a super long holding yourself in promenade position. And I would say I see that one the most. Um, and it leaves the impression in the judge's eye that you don't feel your lady ready to go into promenade. And you might not. Hey, just, just stay on time. <laughs> she'll, she'll catch up if she's not with you. Um, and ladies, I've discussed in technique videos what you should be doing so he's not in doubt, but I won't delve into that today. Um, but I do feel this is a really, really important point um, because the judges, um, you know, they're standing in one spot on the floor. So if you fadoodle around in one corner, say for 20 seconds, you know, doing wait, pause, promenade, switch, promenade, you're missing that opportunity to get those marks. Um, and dancing is ultimately about dancing. It's about light and shade and mixing up kind of pausing movements, but primarily moving movements. You know, dance is about movement. Um, or, and especially in those standard the, and smooth dances tearing across the floor. Um, and this would apply, you know, in like a paso and a samba too. Hey, take advantage, cover that floor. Now, related to this, um, I suggest showing up a little bit early and just do a visual checkout of where the judges are standing on the floor because they tend to kind of have their sweet spot and I'm always going to go stand on the third quadrant of that long wall or whatever. And so I kind of like to watch the other rounds preceding mine um, and get an idea of where they're looking most. So I make sure that I hit that spot. <laughs> I want to be seen. I'll tell you guys, when you're judging, at best, at best, that judge is going to see you maybe 10 seconds of your routine. Um, so the last thing I want to be doing when they are evaluating my dancing is stand there static. Or heaven forbid, if you're maybe having that um, timing attack and you do need to be static, at least keep something moving. Okay? Okay just so they have something that they can evaluate, even if it's just the top line and not the flight. It just never, wait, it looks really panicked. It's it's like you literally stop dancing. You give them nothing and they're on to looking at the next couple. You may have missed your opportunity, okay? Um, next up, if you are doing pro-am as the lead, I have seen, and I've only seen two pros do this, but like clockwork at the competitions, they have a huge harem of ladies that they're bringing to these comps. 
and they just athletically and mentally cannot dance all those heats to their full potential. And so on the um, kind of intro to the dance, they fiddle faddle around for 15, 20 seconds. I would not recommend this as an amateur couple either uh, because now you're missing out on that 15 to 20 seconds of being judged. And I feel this is even more important um, than to do in pro-am. Here's why. Um, if you're a male pro, you know what? You know how to how to, to hear the music, how to come out of the shoot strong. Um, you're, they're, you're being paid well for that time. And honestly, I, I feel they short those pro-am couples a lot in terms of how long they play the music. Give them the max value for their money. Even if they're not there to win, and I, those, those dancers absolutely exist. I call them participants. You know, they just want a pretty Christmas card picture. Well, guess what? If you're dancing 20 more seconds, they're more likely to get that pretty Christmas card picture from the cop photographer. Um, I just, I, it's, forgive my rant, but I feel this is a, a great injustice to those students. Um, now, if, if you're an amateur male, hey, I totally understand you're, you're, you're not confident. Then in that case, it's better to wait. But a little cheat, I suggest, is you know what? If you can't hear the music, just peek at the other couples on the floor and copy their timing and launch in. Um, also, your lady is a co-pilot. So if I feel um, that you're off time, um, and I do advise my my follows um, as well to do this. If you feel your lead getting cattywampus with the timing or they call you up weird, hey, take your time on the walk up. Be really solid when you connect to him um, and just, just take over the steering wheel for a sec and he'll get him back on the rails and, and then let him uh, or him or her, depending on who's leading, take over um, and kind of lead you around the room, okay? Um, okay, once again, I'm over my 10 minute mark, guys. I'm sorry. And Charles had many other great suggestions too. I don't want you to miss out on these. So I'm definitely going to do a follow up video on this. So again, thank you so much, Charles, for your suggestions. And hey, friends, I am but one dancer. Um, and often I make these videos and afterwards I'm like, oh, darn, I forgot to say A, B, C, D, E. Um, please share in the comments so others can enjoy your comments, so I can enjoy your comments. And if I hear something really important, a suggestion, additional information, a great question, I will definitely share that with you guys in other videos because we are a worldwide community of ballroom dancers. Sunny Page is not the ballroom dance world. I'm <laughs> just one person. Um, and I love hearing the stuff you guys have to say too. So if you like all things ballroom dance, hey, join us here. Hit subscribe. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today. And thanks, Charles. Bye, guys.